and welcome back to my channel. Want to get a ton of people to register for your webinars? Now that you know how to host your first webinar step by step, if you haven't watched that video yet, the link to it is in the description box below, it's time to learn how to get webinar registrants. So in this webinar tutorial, I'm going to be sharing with you how to get people to register for your webinar for free to double your webinar attendance. If you want to create webinars for business and are looking for webinar secrets to get users to register for your webinar, stay tuned until the end of this video to learn how to get people to register for your webinar in a heartbeat and to get my webinar sales funnel template that'll help you boost your webinar signup rate, increase the number of people who show up live, and skyrocket your sales. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every time I post a new video. With that said, let's go ahead and jump right in. There are seven things you can do to get people to register for your webinar. Number one, create a compelling title and hook to entice people to register. If you're doing a webinar on how to increase your blog's traffic, such as this one I created on how to increase your blog's traffic by 350% in less than six months using mostly free tools, it's not enough to simply have how to increase your blog's traffic as your webinar title. If you pay attention to the title I created, it's results driven. Another compelling title for this webinar would be something like how to 3x your blog's traffic in less than six months without using expensive software or ads. Because it removes my audience hesitations or frustrations, addresses real pain points that driving traffic to your website is expensive and full of tech, and uses words my audience uses, which makes it even more relevant to them. Hook your audience by telling them that they'll leave your webinar with something that's meaningful to them. Number two, create a high converting webinar registration page. In my video on how to host your first webinar step-by-step, -step, I show you how to create a webinar registration page, but there are some specific things you should pay attention to when creating that page to increase your webinar registrations. One of them is to only ask for important information, which would be for their first name or email. You don't need their phone number or even their last name. The more fields you have them fill out, the lower the chance they'll register for your webinar. Also, have the opt-in form or button where your visitors can click to register for the webinar as close to the top as possible and add numerous opt-in forms or buttons where your visitors can sign up for your webinar. You don't want them to have to scroll all the way down to register for your webinar. And you want to give them more than one chance to register if they didn't fill out the very first opt-in form. You should also tease what your visitors will learn during the webinar by adding three to five results-driven outcomes that address their pain points in addition to tease a special bonus that they'll get once they register. Not only will this increase the number of webinar registrants, but also the number of live attendees. Number three, promote your webinar on social media. When promoting your webinar on social media, you should create webinar promotional posts in optimal sizes for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest using Canva, and then post both call to action posts and urgency posts between seven and 10 days before your webinar. If you don't have a social media following yet, a great place to promote your webinar is in a Facebook group. This way, you leverage on an existing audience in your niche that isn't yet your own. There are a number of Facebook groups that have promotional threads so make sure to post a compelling call to action with your promo image and webinar registration page to those threads. If you have a small following on social media, personally invite your current followers that are already engaging with you 
by tweeting at them or sending them a direct message. You can also search for relevant hashtags and answer your audience's questions with your webinar as a solution. Number four, invite your existing email subscribers. Even if you have a small email list, you should invite all of your email subscribers to attend your webinar. Since they're already on your email list, instead of redirecting them to the webinar registration page, create an automation where they just need to click in your emails to automatically be registered for your webinar. If your email is on the smaller side, get your email subscribers involved in the planning process of your webinar by asking them what they want to learn and what questions they might have. This will increase the chances of them wanting to register for your webinar since they're directly involved and they need to show up in order to get answers. A great thing to boost your webinar registrants is to ask those who have already registered for the webinar to spread the word about your webinar by sharing the link to the registration page on social media with a tweet, Facebook share, or by pinning an image on Pinterest. There's also a tool that you can use called Go Viral that gets people to share your webinar registration page in exchange for a bonus. If you want a 90% done-for-you step-by-step template with the exact subject lines, email structure, and copy that you need to create epic webinar sales funnels, click on the link in the description box below to get the webinar sales funnel template. With this template in hand, you'll know everything you need to write in your emails the days before, the days of, and the days after your webinar is over to skyrocket your webinar sales. Number five, place your website or blog in webinar promotion mode. To get people to register for your webinar, you should promote your webinar on your blog at the top with a sticky announcement bar, in the middle with a graphic or image advertising the webinar, and at the bottom, with a call to action in the footer. You can even switch the call to action on your homepage from the current one to one that promotes the upcoming webinar. Number six, create related content on your blog or YouTube channel. This piece of content should be a snippet from your webinar or a quick tip that you'll expand on during your webinar and ideally should be posted a week before the webinar. It can be a blog post, YouTube video, podcast episode, live stream on Facebook, or on whatever platform you use. Remember to add a call to action with a link to your webinar registration page to this piece of content. By creating a blog post or video with teaser content, you'll trigger your audience's curiosity and boost the chances of them registering for your webinar. Number seven. Create a joint venture webinar. When two people come together to promote the same webinar, they'll automatically get more people to register for your webinar since you'll be targeting both of your audiences on social media, on your email lists, and on your website or blog rather than just yours. If you both use the tactics we talked about in this video, you'll undoubtedly boost the number of people who register for your webinar. My next video is on how to make money with webinars, so make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when that goes live. Now you know how to get people to register for your webinar to double your webinar attendance. As promised, to take your webinar efforts to the next level, to boost your webinar signup rate, increase the number of people who show up live and skyrocket your sales, Make sure to get my webinar sales funnel template by clicking on the link in the description box below. So which tactic to get more webinar registrants will you try first? I'd love to hear your answer and start a conversation in the comments below. And remember to click on the link in the description box below to get my webinar sales funnel template. If you're new around here, hi, I'm Marina Lotai from yes to tech and I'd love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button 
And if you're already subscribed and want to be notified every Tuesday and Thursday at 9.45 a.m. Eastern, just click on the bell after you subscribe and you'll be notified every single time I post. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are and I'll see you in my next video.